because you really don't want them to pull something because basically if a horse breaks its leg, uh, it, it's just, yeah, it, they're kind of not great chances for them to mm. be able to be ridden or sometimes they just have to be put down. So very, very, I want to stress how important it is for you to warm your horses up. And even if they don't like break their leg, if it's something like with a ligament or like something tearing, it just takes, it's just weeks, months, and possible years of just recovery. And it's honestly their quality of life just kind of goes down at that point. Um, so yeah, just, just <laughs> sorry to get all down on you, but um, yeah, very, very important to, to warm your horses up. Yes, yes. You know, flexing some knowledge on you there. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, okay, yeah, I don't want to run you over Vivix, so maybe um, if you get on your horse and then not, uh, because I'm going to pick up a little trot and just warm him up a little bit each direction. Yeah, I don't want to like run you over. <laughs> just some basic stuff, nothing too complicated. Yeah. So I will say, if you do canter, if you see you warm, I do want you guys to canter just to uh, warm up that part of their, their striding and everything. Um, but I will say that maybe it'd be better if you guys choose to do it right here where I am in this dry path, path right here, because I really don't want your horses slipping down over where Casey is right there. Yeah. So maybe I'd say pick up a canner, like, mud right here. Pick up uh, a canner and then stop, kind yeah. of, like, over almost where it fixes. Yeah. Maybe a little farther, like, right where she is right now. Yep. Just because I really, I don't want the horses to slip. How's that bad? Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna slow right down because I really want to brush him because that's nasty. Um, so before I canter both ways, I'm actually gonna turn uh, the other direction and walk that way and throw out that way as well. Okay, let me pick up the trot again. Okay, so I think I'm gonna pick up a camera. Um, next time around. So maybe actually, what I'm gonna do, since this arena is so small, I think maybe I'll have the other two of you, so we'll like canter one at a time. Mm -hmm. So like, the other ones will go in the middle, and then the person that's cantering will have the rail. Yeah, that might be smart. Yep. Um, so whoever, if I can canter first, or unless somebody else wants to. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. So you guys go in the middle, thank y'all. So I'm gonna, right after I get out of this gross patch, I'm gonna speed up a little bit, and then I'm gonna have him canter. Please don't jump anything, baby. And then trot again, just right here in this spot. And the... And the cue is very important to learn it. Okay, so I'm, I'm done cantering that direction, but I'm going to canter the other direction, then you guys can also go. Yes. I'll have him canter right here. And then slow down because that part's gross. This part is so gross right here. Mm -hmm. And then I'll have some can. Also going to brush him. You want to go so first? What? <laughs> you can go first. I'll go. Okay. Last. Oh jeez. So you're good. It's fine. Yay. <laughs> I'm just having to chill out by this barrel while she's doing that. Walking, walking, walking. <laughs> I'm just gonna circle you. Hopefully your horse doesn't get nervous. <laughs> oh no no no, he's chill. Uh, cool. Okay. Um, 
again, like getting the cues, uh, helping your horse uh, navigate through small spaces as well. Mm -hmm. Which is always good. Oh, Why did the apple like not give my horse that great? There we go. Okay. okay. Then. And then um, Casey, you may go, and then we can um, start with your dressage train. Yes, yes. Is there a barrel, sir? If you guys want to throw in some Western barrel racing, I know some of that, so we can we can do that if you want yeah. to. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, that's another way to warm your horse up. Right here. <laughs> Let's do that again. <laughs> your horse is like, I'm ready to jump. <laughs> I want to jump. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's, okay. Come on. And don't yeah, jump. Just stay more to the inside and that'll help with that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 no. Oh. And then you can uh, change directions. Too. Yes, yes. No barrel. Yes, barrel. <laughs> also, doing this, you want to let your horse stretch on both leads of the canner as well. Um. Yep. It's on the left lead, which is correct for this direction because it's left. And so then if I would change directions and have him canter this way, now he's on the right lead because oh, this is- oh, oh, my bad. Because this is the right <laughs> direction. Echo, not yet, sweetie. But <laughs> um, yeah, so that's just a cool thing about Red Dead is that that's another accurate part of it. They actually- oh, that- that- oh, I'm impressed. Good <laughs> game, good job. Good game. <laughs> game. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, um, Casey, if you would like to do uh, your dressage right now, you may start. What should we start with? Um, do you just want to get us all on the rail first? Yeah, that might be. Okay. Fun. If 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 I don't know the correct terms, I'm sorry. I'm still not English, but. I have silver to correct me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do dressage, so I probably know less about it than you. Y you know horse terms. I know not true. No <laughs> horse terms in English. So okay. Is this person just joining us? I think. Uh, probably. Hey, we're, we're, we're doing, doing a, a um, game dressage thing. thing if you would, would like, like to, to. if, if you, you would like to join. join. Um, um, if, if not, not it would be, be great, great if you don't, don't move, move out of the way. way. But if you want to join, then you may. There, oh. was that good? Okay, bye! bye. So, whenever you, whenever you get confused, just think, okay, so at the, like, le the gate I just passed, think about it. So you're standing in front of that, looking straight out to the back of it, like over here. Like, I mean, back, back where that is. So basically kind of where uh, Vivix just passed. And you, so... Think about it. Going right, that's the right direction. Right now, we are going left. We've taken okay. a left. But what is it in Dutch? Uh, oh, that's what you meant. Um, uh, op de hand. Oh, uh, op de hand, okay. Um, hand as in Casey, hand. I, um, <clears throat> I see your <laughs> your horse's blood on the, on the pole right there every time oh, I pass no. it. <laughs> Yeah, but we're just gonna ignore that. It's fine. Let's just ignore the blood. Okay, the horses are all warmed up, so we can go trot. I think I'll just stay in the middle because I am lazy and can overlook everything better then. Uh oh, what's it? A circle is just. Paddock. Yep. Just to stretch. I think it's called stretching. Ooh. Yeah, getting getting the horse to move off your leg, getting their rib cage to bend, and yep. yes, except where I am, right? Just go through the yeah. barrels. Yeah, I moved out of the way so you could just go around the second barrel in a circle and 
Uh, do you both have horse bonding level four or? I yeah, just two. got. You both? Okay. Then we can try to like close the circle a little bit. So keep circling and then try to close it more to the middle of the circle by going sideways. You um, yes, yeah, like that. And then slowly make it a smaller circle. Oh, okay. It looks a bit wonky in Red Dead. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. The thing. Only usually your horse's neck is bent to the middle of the circle, and in Red Dead it just decides I'm gonna look left now instead yep. of looking to the middle of the circle. Am I doing it? Yeah, you're doing it. And once you have a small circle, you can just normally uh, trot again in the circle. Oh damn, that looks fancy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How fancy. Fafa, I might run over you. There you go. <laughs> Echo just like, looked at you and was like, uh... You good there? This is the last circle, then you can continue to follow the... Ah, uh, word. Rail. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I try yeah. my best. Okay, You're fine. Well, Let's see. Uh, again, once you pass the gate, you can go uh, between the barrels and go like zigzag through them and go right awesome. at the end again. Because I know we used to do those things in dressage lessons as well. So I have decided we you you now you are gonna do it as well. Yeah, it's nice. Yay! <laughs> nice. Once again, and then go left this time on the other. Uh, oh my bad. Then. Wait, no, I did that wrong. No, I did it right because you no, end up on this side. Right. Yep. Did right. There we go. Yeah. What is the quick? Um, how do you brush your horse again on while you're on on it? Uh, tab and then um, you R see, yep. to the horse panel and then drag your mouse over the brush. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna use the gate every time because the gate is an easy point for me to say like, oh, then do this. Mm -hmm. yep. Once you reach like the hay bale, oh no, that's the wrong button. I meant to press space, not shift. Sorry. Zooms. <laughs> yes, I <laughs> love that. <laughs> Let's try that again, but with space. <laughs> <laughs> Once you reach the hay bale, try doing this until you reach like. Side passing. Yep. Yeah, that. I forgot the name. Oh, no, no, no. It's just a box of water. You can do this. Like, do that like two times. And then, okay. yeah. First that two times. Okay. I don't go out of the paddock, actually, just so I don't walk in the way. Oh, slow. Oh my god, wow, you slow boy. Why is he going so speedy? Stop it, sir. Stop. You, when you reach the other fence, go uh, like straight forward. Not turn left, but go straight forward so you go back to the right. He like does his really slow because he's a chubby boy. <laughs> it looks good though. Would you like which direction when we go? Uh, straight forward and then go right. Yeah, that way. Yay. And then, uh, once you reach where I am, so like do a next another circle. And once you reach where I am, do the same thing but to the right. Okay. Oh, Papa. <laughs> And then go left once you reach the other side of the paddock again. He's such Ooh. a slow boy.
Nice. Do you want to try some cantering or uh, would yep, that be we, we can. We can. Um, but I think it'd be good uh, either to do it one by just one, like one person at a time. Mm -hmm. Or we can also, there are a few bigger paddocks, like I know one, that's one out there that's really big and nice, where we could do a really nice canner side pass. Yeah. Vivix, do you want to go the same direction as me, or I can turn around? No, no, I'm okay. okay. Sorry, Pop. Nope. Oh. Ah, no. 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 <laughs> oh, oh. Once you're ready, you can go into a counter, and then... Oh, let's see. Yes. Would you like me to side pass? Yes. Sweet, sweet. So, like, right up here. Oh, we're not- that's not canner, sir. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's not a canner. <laughs> Did I tell you to slow down, sir? <laughs> yeah, let me try again. This yeah, time, canner it. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, no. What, what, what are you doing? Why did you take that? Surprise! Oh, yes. That looks kind of crinkly. That the horses are also more warmed up now for your jumping and the cross. Yes, yes. Cross country, so. Cross country. I'm gonna do one more. Sorry, he tried to go out now, and then he was like... There's also a thing that if you if you hold this and then go like this, they'll kind of do like a little dance to the side and side. <laughs> like a little chong- like a little chunga. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, like a little wiggle. <laughs> and then there's- and then, yeah, you can do some side passing to the, the walk, that's really nice. Um... And then there's obviously the rear and stuff, which is, you know, great. Lots of fun things. So that's very important because once you count your strides, then you can do your, your jump release. And so your jump release is when you obviously go in two point, which is basically getting up off of their backs, and you kind of brush your hands up to the front of their neck, and then you obviously, you kick them and you say, get up and go. So that's your jump release. So when you know how to count your strides, and you know how many you have until that jump, you want to pick the best possible spot for them to take off at, and you want to do the jump release. So that tells them, hey, okay, go now. And then they'll go. And it really it teaches the horse to sit back and wait for you to pick the best spot and have the overall best jump experience. Um, and that's, for, that's especially important for cross country, because in cross country, the jumps are solid and they are on conditions where your horse can get very injured if you are not correctly prepared for that jump. So jump, jump, jump release and finding your strides in are extremely important for cross country, especially. Um, so that's my little piece of advice for you <laughs> before we go into it. Yes, yes. Was, was that good? Was that? <laughs> that was quite intense. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Hello. It's good. It's good. <laughs> um. All right. So. One, two, what? Okay. So there is one right here. There's a little baby one right here. A little mm -hmm. log. A uh, pitchin is basically when there is no room left for another full stride. So they just do like a baby steps and then ch take the jump. Because, and that usually happens when you don't give them a cue for it. So they're like, oh, sorry, mom, I gotta go. Like, there's no left, there's no room left for me. Oh, just not gonna jump that, baby, are you done? <laughs> He's like, mom, I am tired. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, you guys can you guys can uh, uh, maybe you should take them over a few jumps before you uh, do the cross country course, just because uh, you guys really haven't jumped your horses. So maybe just like take them over like one or two of these fences on the side. The way that you can kind of say get up and go, so your jump release, right? You mm -hmm. can act actually tell them to jump, which is the space bar, right? You can't. Some mm -hmm. now some horses will just go on their own, but if I want to say hey jump now, like he didn't really do at that time, but. Uh, you use your space bar, so like go now, mm -hmm. and and yeah. So that's the way that you can kind of be like, that's your cue that you can do, or you can if or if you really don't know, you can just let your horse decide, mm -hmm. which is which is fine if you're starting out. Another thing, if you're this is just if you're um, starting off training your horse and jumping, give them like if they do something correct, like if they ju even jump that first jump, give them like like release their head to them, give them pats, tell them they're good, because it's really, really good to reinforce that good, positive energy, because you want them to know that jumping is a good thing. Because if if you, like, right after you do that jump, if you're pulling on them, if you're kicking them, they're not going to want to jump again. Mm -hmm. And that just sets you back a bunch. So it's good when you are training a horse to jump, give them so much positive energy. And, and you kind of go off turn. here, and then you, yeah, and then you turn, and oh. you go one, two, three, and then it goes. And then you're kind of going to go over here. We'll do it again, it's fine. And then you're going to go up on this little bank here. They got to yeet up there, and then they got to jump. It's hard because it's like in the bushes. I mean, you can skip that one if you'd like, because this is the main one. And then you kind of go up on this, this bank over here. I like how that random person's just like still there, just like watching us. Yeah. Oh. That was like two or three in-game days of like training these. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go here. 